Okay, so today what we ended up doing in class is we um, we talked about, oh, we read a new mentor text. So I'm going to kind of like take you through this whole process of what we did. If at any point you need to pause and just do what we did there is fine. I'm also going to show you how to access everything on Schoology as well. Um, but I'm going to ask for you guys to take pictures of things that you are doing. And then you're going to send me an email so I can see that you have them done. Because um, otherwise I'm going to put stuff in as missing. Okay. Um, so what we ended up doing is we started off putting a new mentor text into our sandbox, which I know that you, you'll need to do that when you get back to school. But I'm going to show you really quickly um, kind of what we did so you know what to do when you get back to school. Give me just a second. Let's see if this will work a little bit faster. Apologize for not having this up and ready to go. All right. Um, so what we ended up doing is we have this new mentor text, which is this, Vampires of the Deep. Um, and we tape that into our notebook. So you're going to need to do that because um, we're going to do some other stuff with that. So that's the first thing you need to make sure that you end up doing is that you come to school and you ask me for that. Okay. Now, you will need to read this um, uh, new mentor text, Vampires of the Deep. And in order to do that, you can do two things. So you can go ahead and just pause and you can go down here into where it says mentor texts and you can open up Vampires of the Deep and you can read it here. So you guys can actually go and do that if you would like. Or if you would rather go into scope and see it a little bit different, you can log into scope by going here and you're going to click that you are a student. So we're going to log in, say you're a student. The password is EX20, sorry, 2122. You're gonna sign in. It will bring you here. You're gonna type in the title, Vampires of the Deep. Click on that and it will pop up for you. It's this one right here. So you can click on this and then you can either read this or you can have it read to you. Either way is fine, but I do want you to read this article. Okay, so if you need to pause now and just go ahead and do that, great. Um, or you can do that in a little bit, but that's kind of what needs to happen. So if I were you, I would pause and I would read this um, or have it read to me. You'll need to read Vampires of the Deep as well as this infographic, um, Attack of the Zebra Muscles. Okay, so make sure that you read both of those. All right, after you have done that, what we ended up doing is we wrote some information underneath where this is going to be taped in your notebook. So on a separate sheet of paper, because you, if you don't have your notebook on a separate sheet of paper, you need to write this um, on that piece of paper. Because when you get back to school, you're going to make sure that you take whatever you've written down and you are going to tape this onto um, or in your sandbox along with this mentor text that you will pick up. That way you have it. I am going to ask, though, that after you get this done, I want you to take a picture of it and I want you to send it to me. So that way I know that you have done it and it's completed. So you'll just take a picture from... I don't really care how you end up doing that, and you're going to send it to me in an email. Okay, so make sure you do that. Um, again, you can pause now after you've read everything and write this down, or if you would rather not pause and you'd like to see it a little bit after the fact, you can go back to the reader reading and writing uh, course, and you can go to Notes in Classroom Practice Examples. You're going to go to, um, this is the PTAAF stuff that we ended up doing. And you're going to go to this one. You'll open it up. It looks exactly like what I just showed you. Okay. Um, then after we ended up doing that, we switched gears and we went to talking about fiction signposts. So I'm going to go over that really quickly with you. Um, fiction signposts are places within a book that you need to pause reading and think about why the author did what they did. Okay. It's kind of like um, signs on a road that you'll see like a stop sign or do not enter or a crosswalk, whatever it may be. Um, and so as a driver, which you'll eventually get there, but we need to pay attention to those signs because something could be happening. Same idea within a book is that there's going to be things that the authors do that your brain's going to go, huh, that's weird. And whenever your brain does that, you need to stop and ask, what was the purpose of that? Why is that here? Because that's going to help you to comprehend um, the text better. And we ended up doing the first one, um, and only the first one today. So the first one is contrast and contradictions. 
Something I also want to bring attention to you is in your resource notebook. Again, if you have it, great. If not, you're going to kind of follow my directions as I keep going. Um, on page 38, I actually have the fiction signpost here. Okay, so if you have that, you can look at it. Otherwise, you can just kind of go along with me on what I'm talking about here. So, um, contrast and contradictions are when something is happening that you do not expect to have happen. So maybe the character is usually super scared and then they show bravery. So that's something to go, wait a minute, that's not right. I'm going to pause here for a second and figure out why did the author do this? Why does this matter? Um, same thing if they're quiet and now they're giving a speech for the school. Again, why is that happening? A lot of times in dystopian novels, um, we also have a lot of like, huh, well, that's interesting. That's a contrast between what I know and what's actually happening in the book. So again, when you notice these things, you're going to ask yourself, why is the character doing that? Why is, or what is different from this world um, than my world? Why might this matter? Okay. So I'm going to go through two different examples with you. Um, there are links on here and I actually put the links in the reading writing course. Um, you are going to be reading a spray paint commercial, or not reading, watching that one and Nemo Sharks. So you're going to be watching both of those. So in order to do that, you're going to go back over to here. Um, and that's going to be in the your assignments, which you have already, not your assignments, sorry. In the only if absent, it's going to be in the October in today's thing and you're gonna look at the instructions and it says click here for link one so that's going to take you to spray paint commercial okay after you're done watching that one i want you to pay attention to what your brain is doing how it's a contract and con contrast and contradiction um the second one is this one right here click for link two for the vi from video instructions you're going, it's going to be the Nemo and Sharks. So again, pay attention to, huh, well, that's weird. That's not what I know. So pay attention to how that works, okay? So I want you to pause and I want you to go to Schoology and I want you to click on both of those, pay attention to what your brain does and then come back and see me, okay? So go ahead and pause and go do that. All right, so now after you have watched those two videos, um, we talked about how it was it was a contrast and con contrast and contradiction because the first one was the spray paint commercial at first we were thinking man this guy is not doing what he's supposed to be doing he's being really sneaky um he's wearing a dark hoodie he's, he's out at night he's spray painting this is not what he should be doing that kind of thing the mom's reaction all that and then at the end you see that it was he actually did this for a good reason um and so it's kind of like whoa your brain just kind of shifts for a minute like it's not what you expected to have happen okay um, the shark one for Finding Nemo is that sharks, they do, they eat fish. So as soon as like the shark's like, no, they're our friends, not food. Your brain should go, huh? Well, why is that happening? Why would the author choose to do that? That's a contrast and contradiction. Okay. So what we ended up doing is on page 38, we ended up taking just a couple of notes about those. And so we did contrast and contradictions. Um, spray paint commercial, graffiti. This is just to remind us um, of what contrasts and contradictions are. So I'm going to have you write these down. If you do not have your notebook, you need to put this on a separate sheet of notebook paper. And then I want you to um, take a picture of this and send this to me in an email. So that way I know that you have completed it. Because otherwise it's going to go in as missing. Okay? So you can either pause now to write this down. Or if you would rather look on here for the notes... You can look on page 38, you can click on this, and it will show you the same thing that I ended up just showing you there. Okay? Um, so you have, basically, you have two pictures that you need to send me. You need to send me a picture of, and I'll show you, page 38 or whatever um, piece of notebook paper that you wrote those things on. And you also need to take a picture of the PTAF, P-T-A-F for both Vampires of the Deep and um, Attack of the Zebra Muscles. Okay? All right. And then after that, you guys are just reading, getting your reading time in, and that's all I got for you. If you have any questions, please email me. Thank you.